Hi everyone. Hello. I can see your microphone, Rach. Well, you left it there. The camera doesn't... Are you closer to me? The camera doesn't need to even be that far across, does it? I think usually. Okay. Maybe it's a bit higher usually? Hi everyone, by the way. Welcome to Chronicles of Crime. Let's solve some mysteries. I just added to the title. There is a warning in the app, by the way. Which you might know if you've played any of the other Chronicles of Crimes. There's crime involved. There's, uh... Murder. Yeah, there's parental advisory, graphic content. So just be aware of that. Although I have put it in the title, in the description. I think we're alright, aren't we? Uh, so yeah, we're going to give the tutorial a go, which is fairly quick, I think. I think the one in the original game was only about 15 minutes or so. And then we're going to have a look at the first scenario of the, the main part of the game. So Chronicles of Crime 2400 is a standalone expansion to Chronicles of Crime. Well, I don't know if it's even an expansion. It's a standalone game, isn't it, really? Everything you need is here. It's part of the, a similar system. But there was like a, a Millennium series. There's three games that are separate, but they kind of, they have got interlinking things. And there is an expansion that links them all together, I think. We've played some of 1400, haven't played 1900, but we're jumping straight into Cyberpunk with 2400. Hopefully it'll go all right. So I think we've got the app all up. Hopefully it's not making noise or anything. It shouldn't be. There is a soundtrack and stuff with the app. It was just distracting so hi steve hi james i think we're ready to go nothing's set up yet because the scenarios themselves will tell us what to set up i suppose we should say hello again for i have been recording the entire time are we going to separate these in case people only want to watch the tutorial i don't know oh yes thanks james uh Everything we do, oh no, the, the app's blocking my hand, uh, is supported by patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. If you'd like to help us keep making more things, uh, then that's a great visit. Or oh, you can see my hand on the mouse as well underneath it, because the, the phone screen's not quite that big. Yeah, if you'd like to help out, that would be an amazing visit. Or Kofi, if you don't want to go on Patreon, it's up to you. But thanks for watching either way. So let's uh, let's dive into the tutorial then. And it will tell us how to get started. So we are taking on the role of highly trained cyber agent Kalia Lavelle as they break free from the injustices of corporate focused law enforcement, chase suspects through the real world in digital cyberspace, augment your body with cybernetic implants and help the people who can't count on anyone else in this merciless world. So we have got it's all done through an app on your phone. It's one app does all of the various games and expansions and that. Uh, and so we're going to discover the game with this tutorial case and solve the mystery of a cyberware robbery. This is just the tutorial so far. So it downloads a bit the first time that you do it. And then you're good to go. Rach, do you want to <clears throat> do your reading? Well, I might have to turn you up. Chat should be on the screen, right? It's not on this. It's not on this screen. Because I don't know how much space we're going to need we for cards and things. James. I can see you. It's just not coming up on the screen, and Marty's refusing to be in here. It, oh, the chat's like behind our the chat's head. really low, isn't it? Like, um, we can put it up there. I think that'll work. Yeah, Mar I doubt Marty's going to join us. Uh, so I might need to turn you off, Branch, because I've just guessed again. Here you go. Read the disclaimer, H, and we'll see how loud you are. Welcome to the Chronicles of Crime. <clears throat> Just need to clear my throat. Well, I can't help so, it. So unprofessional, H. It's not my job. I'm just here as a guest. Welcome to the Chronicles of Crime 2400 tutorial. 2400. What do we say? It's certainly not 2400. Oh, it is 2400. Oh my goodness, it's been a long week. Disclaimer, this scenario is an introduction to the game. It explains how you play without giving you too much of an investigative challenge. Tap next to start. 
Uh, that might be that. because James, you put I Patreon, not exclamation mark Patreon. Yeah, you gotta gotta hit that exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. The what should be working though. Is it still me? Chronicle of Crime. Can't even say Chronicles. Twenty Four Hundred is a cooperative game in which all the players work together to solve a crime. You play as Callie Lavelle, a former officer of the elite Belcor Watchmen, who has gone rogue. She fights crime on her own, helping those who can't count on anyone else. So you can drag the text, there's a menu, there's a history. <clears throat> I'll take a sip of so drink. we've got the large evidence board, we've got everything else in piles, and oh, we need to reveal the home location. See, our chat's going to get right in the way of this. That's why I don't. Um... We don't have to have it all. So otherwise, we have to zoom right the way out. But you should still be able to see all of the chat things. We need space underneath as well, don't we, for all of the cards and things? <laughs> Hopefully, this will be enough space. There we go. There's the Patreon bot. Thanks, James. So. This is the home, this is Callie's apartment then. Everything's got QR codes in it so we can scan it into the app. We've separated the cards, they're in their piles, don't worry, the rulebook told me all of this. We've got the Raven over here. Your trusty Cyber Raven companion is always with you if you want to ask it about a person or an item. The other characters are in a pile. And tap next when you're ready to play. I think we are. <clears throat> Things have been tough since you left Belcor, Watchman. All of your cyber implants were confiscated and your benefits and access to corporate services were revoked. You had to move to a small apartment in a shady neighbourhood. But you'll never regret the decision to leave. <clears throat> You'd had enough of serving corporate interests rather than serving justice. Now you work on your own, doing what you've always wanted to do. Solving crimes and helping people. That's what your family's done for centuries, and nothing will stop you from continuing that tradition. A video call suddenly brings you out of your reverie. You see a familiar face on the display. It's Luke Stutter. Sutter. An independent cyber implant supplier from Cyber Dynamics Inc. You've done a couple of jobs for him before, and you wonder what he's got for you now. So a character has been mentioned, but we don't know where he is. There's Luke. So all the, the character cards in Chronicles of Crime Games don't have any like information on the card itself. The scenario tells you who those people are. Uh, then, yeah, so he goes in one of these slots. If we know where someone is, they go in the location where they are. Hey, mini bees. Yeah, it is. It's pretty much that. There is a rule book, but the app is telling me everything about the setup that I did, which there isn't much setup. Like... The bulk of the setup will come from the app itself, and I, th I think the the tutorial scenario will tell you everything you need to know. Kalia, I need your help. I've just received an automated emergency alert for one of my shipments. The GPS shows that it stopped in the wilds, which is odd. We never route, route cargo through that sector. Route cargo. Location D. Oh, the double-sided. Okay, I've got location D there. The wilds. So we put that on the board and do this every time a new location is mentioned. I've sent an armed security drone to investigate, continues Luke, but I need someone I can trust on site. I believe you are that person, Kalia. Go to the wilds and find out what happened. I'll contact you when you get there. You feel encouraged by the trust that people like Luke put in you, and you plan to live up to his expectations. You activate your Cyber Raven and put it in follow mode. His mechanical wings begin to flap and it hovers just above your head. You are ready to go. To travel to the next location, tap next, then scan the QR code that is printed on the board. So, hopefully this won't be too bad because it's just a small portion of the screen, but here's where we go kind of handy cam so the camera on your phone is used to scan QR codes for locations and items and things so by <coughs> scanning the location we're going to that location you can also ask people about I don't think you can ask people about locations can you I think that travels you we've made that mistake before 
because like everything takes time as well. If you see the time's ticked along, it's now 9.20 a.m. And yeah, we can't waste too much time because stuff's happening. The alley in the wilds. The autonomous cab takes you only to the edge of the wilds. The district never recovered from the damage done by the wars, even though it's been more than 60 years since the end of the pan-continental conflict. The wilds now belongs to gangs and mercenary groups, claiming turf, fighting for influence and running shady businesses. It's a dangerous place. Thankfully, it's not your first time here, and the coordinates Luke sent you point to a place nearby. When you arrive, you come across the scene of a recent gunfight. A delivery truck is on one side of the street, bullet holes marking its body and the walls of the surrounding buildings. Cargo crates are scattered nearby. You see the driver in an armoured uniform lying in a pool of blood by the truck. An armed security drone is here holding a scared looking handcuffed man at gunpoint. Characters that have been mentioned. And we know they're at the wilds. So, driver. Arre arrester? Scared looking person. Place all of them on there. Yep, yep, yep. I press next. If you want to interact with a character, scan the QR code, QR code on their card. For now, try talking to the security... Oh, it's the security drone. Who is the driver? This man that's got armour on? It's not letting me go to history just yet. For some reason. So it wants us to scan... Number eight. There we go. When you approach the security drone, it lowers its weapon and turns to face you. Then it speaks with a metallic voice from a speaker hidden somewhere in its head. Scanning. Person recognised. Callie Laval, freelance detective assigned to investigate the scene. Changing priority. Secure the area. Protect Callie. Ask your questions. So we're in interrogation mode and we so we are talking to the bot. Anything we scan now, we're going to ask the robot about that thing. You can only use cards that you already have. Asking the drone about itself, the body, and the man it captured. So we can ask the drone about itself by scanning it. Security drone property of Cyber Dynamics Inc. Oh, he's speaking. My directives come from Luke Susser. Any complaints should be directed to him. Have a nice day. Okay. Ask him about the driver. Max Gerard, employee of Cyber Dynamics Inc. Status dead. And then about the person they've arrested. That individual was found in the vicinity of Cyber Dynamics Inc. property, apprehended for questioning, calculated risk of involvement high. Yeah. Suddenly, your conversation is erupted, interrupted by a video call from Luke. Callie, I see you're already there. I've just received video footage of the scene from the security drone. This is all madness. Max was our newest employee and he should never have wound up in a place like this. Use your experience and search the area. Then ask around about anything you find there. I want you to find the killer and get my shipment back. When you're finished, come to my office. And we can discuss next steps. So we need to work out who the killer is and where the shipment is. There's his office. Mission's just been laid out for you. To find out what happened at the crime scene, who killed the driver, and you need to find and recover the stolen cargo. The things you'll be asked about when you decide to solve the case and finish the game. Search the crime scene, end the conversation, and then tap the search the scene button. I'm going to turn that around. Time runs out. You or another player can search for clues again. We'll see that when we get to it. So we need to say goodbye to the security drone. And then we can search the scene. It's a really cool system. Like... We haven't played like the other expansions in the middle yet. But really enjoyed the first Chronicles of Crime. Nothing else is really doing this. Like, Detective does it in a very different way. Hey, board game for Thomas. How's it going? Right. 
who wants who's gonna search the scene then, Rach? Not me. I'll search the scene. Okay then, so this is where we move around a bit. So yeah, I, again, the app warned us. Graphic content, I assume looking at the crime scene. So in case you want to bow out because of that, I'll warn you again. So you can as well. I don't know what viewer device is, that's a new button. But it did come with the option of, um, which button do I need to press to make this full screen? Um, this was supposed to be rotated. Oh, do I not need to do that? There we go. Thought I had it all set up, but it turns out you don't need to press rotate. So yeah, you can you can have these little like three D glasses that attach to your phone, so you can kind of look at it in three D. Obviously, I won't, I won't pick that option because even if I had that three D thing on me, you're not going to be able to see that. And I think it would look weird if you weren't wearing the glasses. So again, the screen's going to move about a bit as well. So without glasses, you hold the phone, and hopefully I'm going to have the room to do this. You kind of move around and uh, and scout out the crime scene like this, and Rach will look for cards based on what I've found, but she's not supposed to see this. I'm not looking. Just, you know, for the purposes of everyone seeing stuff. So I see boxes strewn around everywhere. There is a, a dead body. Uh, there's a pizza shop. There's trash everywhere. There's open boxes. There's a lion. Graffiti. There's a dirty street. Oh, there's... There's some kind of tablet with a holographic display on the floor. There's a, there's a dumpster with loads of rubbish bags. There's some stairs. I don't think lampposts are very important. I'm running out of time. And it's too much detail. Cyberdynamic. Rach, do you want to observe the crime scene? So many cards to look through. So yeah, there's a load of cards that Rach has got. And they're just categories like... We'll, we'll say... Well, I don't know whether to say yes or no just yet. But um, yeah, they're, they're all categories like communication devices, bottles, paper, all of this stuff. So everything that I was kind of saying about the crime scene, Rach is trying to match that up to a card. But for well, now, we'll, we'll say no for now, and so we massive, can carry on. Like, there's a lot yeah, of cards. Th there's a great big stack of those cards. So, Rach, based on what I've said, I've seen on all of that. So, only one person is looking at the crime scene at a time. Everyone else can be scrabbling through these cards that's playing. And so now, we've searched the scene, and we can scan these cards to see if what we found was relevant, anything worthwhile. So the graffiti is marked, the wall is marked with a graffiti drawing of some kind of wild cat. You found a symbol, which doesn't tell you much. Ask the cyber raven about it to see what your companion can find out. Uh, but we do put, you know, things that might be relevant, they go on our evidence board here. You find your first clue. Now search for more. Boxes and packages. Durable cargo boxes used for transporting cyberware. Some are opened and empty. Whatever cyber implants they held are now gone. Put that back into the deck and you should have the cybernetics card, which we did have as well. Uh, this represents the missing cargo. Okay, then. Hi, Anne. How's it going? Yeah, Isn't I that... think the tablet has Surely got to be Surely that's key evidence. Carry on. Put yeah. it into the blue area that's what to mark that you know about it, but we don't have it. So that's evidence we have. We know that we need like... Yeah. We don't quite know what it is, other than yeah. that it's cybernetics. Uh, so yeah, that goes there. Great, you found two clues. After you've done searching, you can ask people about these things. Oh, there's three more clues. I only picked two more. Remember, all your actions take in-game time. You can see the time. Each scan takes five minutes. Travelling takes 20 minutes. Plan your actions wisely. For now, we suggest you focus on finding the remaining clues. Trash. There is nothing in this category here. Back me up. There was trash. There was trash all over that crime scene. There's a tablet-like device on the ground. Uh, put nine back into the deck and try the communication devices card instead. I've got one on number 15. 15. 
Did you just go past it? No. I think that was 25. Da -da 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 -da. Like 38. Which can call 38. There's a lot of things there to sift through. A tablet like device that displays damage, but it still works. It shows the root driver was. The root the driver. The root the driver was following went into the wild. Well, of course, that's where we are. Three clues found, two to go. So, do you want to have a search of the crime scene, Rach? And see if you can find anything. Sure. So, press search <laughs> the scene. Do I need to turn? Uh, yeah, you'll need to turn around with it. That's something I didn't really factor into the playthrough with not much space. But, but I've kind of managed it. I didn't really look to my right very much. Do so I'll maybe start there. That's your left. Oh. I thought you did this. But to me, anyway. Without. Yep. Okay, here we go. I won't look. There was definitely trash. Well, there is trash. I don't know. Is there any Lots sports equipment? Well, what are you seeing, right? No, nothing. This food. Go for food. Food. Go for food. Blood. Yeah. Blood. Uh, Benches, Let's go for benches, cars, they're not on there, I know that for sure. Vehicles, mm -hmm. maybe, but same cyberdynamics thing, I guess. Yeah. Water. Oh, sorry. That hit my leg. So, no. we've got a couple of things. Are they relevant? Food? No. You did not see food. That took five minutes. So a pizza Vehicles? Boxes. A cargo truck that was severely damaged by the gunfight. It won't go anywhere under its own power. Yes. But that is a clue. You have one more to find. I assume it was blood. Sorry's body is covered in blood. He was shot multiple times. The blood is still wet. This happened recently. There we go. So there are our clues. That's the final clue. You can ask about any of them when talking so to a character. Said, speak to the raven and ask him about the sign, didn't it? It specifically yeah. said do that. So we can talk to the raven. Looks at you with strangely intelligent eyes. It's your companion. You can ask him questions. Each scan takes five minutes. So it said ask him about the sign because we don't know anything about the sign, do we? You don't get long to look at the searches. Visual tag. Used by Wildcat's gang, searching for references found. Rumoured gang leader is known as Leo. So that's someone we've heard of. We don't know where they are. Just looking at the tattoo on his... Can you ask him about yeah. anything else? Can I ask about the cybernetics, I guess, that are missing? Do we don't really need to know about these things, do we? Or no, we or we else? can talk to these. Maybe Bye, we Raven. Do we need to look at the body? Are we allowed to do that? Should we? Should we talk to the man? Sure. There was definitely trash. It was everywhere. I guess the trash just wasn't relevant. Yeah, it's, but maybe yeah, it's, it should just say the that... message should say like, yeah, that's that's not that's not relevant. Of course, there was trash. It was a dumpster. Great, Ricky, Ricky Swift's talking. She needed a sip. Thanks. What's he saying thanks for? Or do you think we're releasing him? Thanks. When that robot got me, I was certain I was done for. So what are we asking him about? The... Oh, yeah, I think... The dead first man. First put a call. I don't know him. He was dead before I got here. Okay, let's think about this. Do we ask him who he is? Might be an idea. Yeah. I'm just an unlucky guy who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. When I, I heard gunshots, but when I finally got here, it was already over. No one was here except for that poor guy. 
I wanted to check on him to see if he needed help, but then that robot showed up. I thought I was screwed. The robot's AI must have flagged me as a suspect just because I was here. You aren't going to take the robot's word over mine, are you? Ask him about the sim. Can ask him about the earth, see if he. Yeah. Knows that gang. Uh, not a fan of street art, you know. Oh, he's rubbish, isn't he? Could ask him about the cybernetics. Yeah. Or about this stuff that's missing. I wish I knew where it was. You could sell that stuff on the black market for a hefty price. But I don't know what happened to the shipment or who took it. What if we ask him if he knows where that guy is? Yeah. Oh, who is that? I don't think I've heard that name before. It's been shifty. So. What if we ask the raven about this man? Yeah. Bye, Ricky. Raven. Bring your intelligent eyes to What's this going on man? with this fella? Demondez Rick, alias Ricky Swift. Charges of trespassing, corporate espionage and use of unregistered implants... All charges were dropped after settlements were paid. So he's dodgy. Could ask about this guy. Yeah. Alias Leo. Real name unknown. Checking criminal database. Supposed leader of Wildcats gang. Multiple charges of theft, extortion, robbery and murder. Wanted by Belcor Watchman. Hmm. <coughs> okay. What if we ask him... About the root, I don't know if that's the useful. raven. Yeah. <clears throat> Personal tablet device bears a Cyberdynamics Inc. logo. Software used, delivery AI system, damage display, no visible signs of modifications. What if we talk to the security robot then? Yeah. Scan the robot. What are we asking him? About the. This man. We've asked him about them. Oh, oh, have we? Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? We did, didn't we? Property of Cyberdynamics Inc. stolen by unknown perpetrators. Current priority find a thief and retrieve stolen cyberware. Hi, Matt. Employee Max Gerard recognised scanning vital signs, readings at zero, employee dead, emergency call aborted. What did you scan then? The blood. Oh. Just just going off the the point and click adventure method. Scan things. Standard cargo delivery vehicle. Be advised the vehicle is damaged and using it is strictly prohibited according to the company safety policy. We could ask the drone. Is the drone going to know things about anyone, though? No. Have we looked at the body? Is that even useful? When you approach the driver, it is immediately clear that he is dead. He was shot multiple times, taking a bullet to the head from short range, which was fatal. Even his helmet couldn't protect him against that. There's blood everywhere. Hmm. <clears throat> so we're a bit stuck. So. But we've asked. Have we asked him about everything? No. I don't, I don't know what. But he, he didn't know a lot. He didn't know about the c cybernetics. He didn't know about the signs and symbols. Did we ask him about? This I suppose it, would, it wouldn't matter, would it? Because he's only just the driver of a vehicle. We did ask him, we? I remember yeah. that now. So we've asked him about that leader, haven't we? And he says he doesn't know him. Did I ask the droid about Swift? About about him? I thought yeah, we did earlier. Yeah. The, the tutorial asked us to... That was the first thing. Yeah, we asked we asked the robot about both of the other people. So I don't see what he's going to have to say about vehicles and stuff. There's nothing I could do. The robot was holding me at gunpoint, so I was afraid to get involved. Okay.
I mean, we could move. Like, I don't think you can ask about locations. Yeah, if, if you if you scan a location, you move to the location. But like, you're scanning the location as you search in the area. So we did that. And we found, like the tutorial told us, there's this many clues, we found all of those. So uh, what does it want us to do? I feel like we've asked a lot of people about a lot of things. We could, what haven't we asked the hawk about? We didn't ask it about the blood, I don't think. Uh, how do we get... So it's not very good having all your buttons at the very bottom of the screen. Because the iPhone thinks that you want to, like, swipe back to the menu. And asked it about the blood. It's so it's his blood. Uh, no. No, it's his blood. Okay. What if you ask the Raven about this? Have we already done that? It's just security I drone. Know. I didn't know whether maybe it was like, was it was it actually malfunctioning? This is a good start. This is the tutorial. Yeah. Um. Hang on, what is this? Oh, that's his place. That's his office. We don't know all the answers, do we? Yep, it's the cyberdynamics truck. Vehicles mobilised. Heavy damage. So I think, I feel like have we've we asked... asked him about this? We have, haven't the we? The Raven? We have, haven't we? Yeah. Not a criminal. I mean, we could just like move. We could just go home to and see if house. that does something. Okay, I don't like, think that what, was the right thing to do. What can we do at the apartment? Nothing. I thought something might happen. It might trigger an event or something. You take the subway to the commercial part of Paris. The street is tightly packed with stores, offices and kiosks. Everything glimmering oh. with bright neon colours. You find the headquarters of Cyberdynamics Inc. We don't know the answers to the questions. This isn't like... This is Cyber Dynamics, the people that run the. I thought this was the police I thought station. He said, "Come find me here." Oh, that's where. It, oh, yeah. But I just assumed that meant uh, he was at the police station, but he's not. We just misunderstood something there. This is the headquarters, of course. Yeah, this is where we come. Of service, and you wonder how this is possible on the verge of the twenty-fifth century. Thankfully, the office is on the third floor. You enter a cramped space filled with desks and high-tech computer gear. So Luke Sutter's is there himself. So he's there. In the back of the office, you see a woman connecting a computer to the network of data servers. She barely notices your arrival. So we oh, so we could just talk to him. We don't. We have to choose yeah. to solve the case. The woman is standing by a wall filled with computer gear. She notices you only after a moment. Oh hi, can I help you? So we can ask her about some things. Does she know where this man is? This is cyber dynamics, isn't it? I suppose. Ask them about their missing stuff. If the company wants to run profitably, we cannot let shipments to just disappear. Let me check the GPS trackers. Hmm, no readings. They must have been disabled. <clears throat> ask her about the communication device. The delivery system plans the delivery routes and assigns them to the drivers. It's fully autonomous and doesn't require much maintenance. Of course, it may have been seen some bugs. Nothing is perfect after all. My job is to get it a little closer to perfection. Hmm. It doesn't feel like she's very helpful. She might know where this man is. What? Oh, him? Why? Don't know. He's a criminal. She's just she just makes software H. She's not gonna know where criminals are. Try talking to the boss, see if he's got any help. 
Hello, I'm glad you're here. I thought you might need some help. Here, take this cyber implant. It may help you in your investigation. I mean, Luke, could you not have just given us a call? You've received the new cyber implant, the tomograph. It can be used to detect any irregularities, cybernetics or unusual elements of a character in your location. Scan the tomograph cyber implant card outside of interrogation mode, then scan a character. The targets are usually unaware that the tomograph is being used on them. So they're saying use it on this dude. Well, could he not have rung us earlier and said he's, we might need it? You just see your first cyber implant. Each time this happens in an investigation, that will give you instructions on how to use that implant. Search the cyber implant's deck for it. Yep, done that. I hope you find it useful. Well, Luke, it would have been useful about so three it, hours ago. So we go back and scan him with this. I would assume so, yeah. You are back at the crime scene. The truck and the body of the driver are still here. The security drone is guarding the area and the witness is sitting on the sidewalk. Ooh, now it wants us to, it does want us to scan him. So we're using the tomograph and we'll scan <laughs> this. Readings from the tomograph indicate high stress levels. It also finds a high tech cyber eye oh. in the man's skull. Sneaky man. So oh, in the special where items are deck. the stars here? Mm -hmm. You can ask people about special items in the same way you ask them about other cards. Give me your eyeball. It goes in the blue section. I suppose we don't have it, do we? Oh. Using cyber implants depletes your bioenergy. Each use costs 20%. In order to restore it, travel back home and to have recharge. We've lost all of our bioenergy for that. Oh, we, we only, only had 20%. 20. It's teaching you, isn't it? So I don't think we needed any more, did we? Not in the minute. We just need to ask him about that eyeball, don't we? Ask him? Yeah. What's his eyeball? Going on with this cyber eye, mate. Now, how do you... Ugh, never mind. I guess I'm well and truly screwed now. But wait, maybe we can set things right. You see, this eye isn't registered. I know that's illegal, but here in the wilds, people need to see every means we can get to survive. So don't blame me if I was hesitant to share my secrets. Let's make a deal. Ask your questions and I'll try to help you. In exchange, keep my little secret to yourself and everyone will be happy. What do you say? You've gained leverage over Ricky by proving that you know he was lying to you. We'll often find opportunities to do this to get people to spill the beans. Spill the beans. Okay, so if you ask him about things now, he might be a uh, bit more Ricky, honest. where is this shipment? Tell us now. Okay, the truth is, I saw who took it. It was the Wildcats gang. Card 37. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that's this one. This whole situation was a trap. They knew the transport would go down this alley and they came prepared to ambush it. There was one guy leading the ambush. They call him Leo. You want to know more? They have this place in cyberspace where they meet to coordinate attacks. But if anyone asks, you didn't hear that from me. So the Ravens are just going to have to perch somewhere. Okay. Do we ask Should we ask him about else? other things? We could ask him about... He was the one leading the ambush. They call him Leo. Yeah, you so want to say more? He's there at the hideout. Hidey hole. Should we just go there? I don't know if we've got any yeah, more to Yeah, he knew about it, him. but he didn't do it, did he? Does he know where this is? Oh, yeah, it's there, so, isn't it? Yeah, we asked him yeah. about it. Yep. Yeah. He's still asking him. Oh, going there say, involves... Okay. So say goodbye. Say goodbye. Well, scanning the location oh, does yeah. that. So recharge. Let's have a little snoozy snooze. You hook your bio battery to the chair mounted charger. It takes an hour to charge to 100%. So we're, getting, we're jacking in. Do you want to enter cyberspace? Yes. Sure. You connect to cyberspace and your mind is transferred to a digital world of living information. Every time you scan a cyberspace location, you'll be asked if you want to enter. Each connection costs 20% of your energy. If you want to leave, tap the exit or scan a physical location. You'll be asked if you want to disconnect before you move. You dive into a deep web to find a dark space hidden from the side of most cyberspace visitors. The shiny head of a wildcat is floating in midair. 
After a brief moment, you realise that there is another avatar in the room. It notices you and approaches number 34. All characters you meet in cyberspace are called avatars. They are digital representations of people connected to the digital virtual world. Oh, he's cool. He's like a bull. It's like a little profile picture. It might be someone you've already met in a physical location or a person as yet unknown to you in the physical world. It could be this guy. Sometimes you may never have the chance to meet the person hiding behind the avatar and the only way to interact with them is in cyberspace. Well, there's nothing else to do here. Finally! What took you so long? Where is the cargo? And when will I get my money? Oh. Asking about this guy? Yeah? I don't really know what to tell him. What? So who am I speaking with? Wait a minute. Oh crap, you're not the wild cat. Uh oh. The avatar suddenly disconnects from cyberspace, disappearing abruptly in the middle of your conversation. Whoops. That was unfortunate. For a moment, you seem to be alone in the room. Then a masked figure emerges from a dark corner. It was watching and listening from the shadows this entire time. Cheeky. Hello. The masked avatar is now focused entirely on you. Awaiting your questions. Suspicious. Friend. Very sus. Is he a friend, though? What's going on with that fella? I'm not sure exactly who that is, but it's definitely someone outside of the Wildcats gang. Whoever it is, they were helping the gang for a while, giving them intel about lucrative deliveries. Head of the Wildcats gang, notorious for his many crimes. He may be elusive, but we'll find a way to get him. A wildcat can't bite you once you take off its head. So this is the policeman. Yeah. The Wildcats gang must have stashed the stolen cargo somewhere in this district. We need to find it. I think the Cyber Dynamics Delivery AI system is the key to figuring out where it is. Drivers working for Cyber Dynamics use a delivery AI system to navigate the city. Somehow, this poor guy walked right into a well-designed trap. Something's wrong. Let's check on the delivery AI servers to see what we can learn. This is a long tutorial, isn't it? In-depth tutorial. Unfortunately, I can't log in there. Let's just say I have my chance and now my ID will be flagged as an intruder. You, on the other hand, could sneak in. Especially since you're technically on the side Cyber Dynamics payroll. Here, let me transfer the passcodes to you. You feel data flowing to you. You instinctively check it as it comes in, but your software doesn't find anything suspicious. It's just login credentials. You've gained access to another cyberspace location. Travelling between cyberspace locations costs no time or energy. And you leave where yeah. you started. We'll see ya. You approach Cyberdynamic Inc.'s private servers. After a few automatic checks, you are admitted and your mind connects with the data centre. The credentials you got from your mysterious friends seem to work flawlessly. The digital landscape is filled with massive tower-like structures of data. Arcs of light connect to one another, creating a bright web above your head. At first, you are overwhelmed, but you quickly find a program that enables you to access the data. Some character cards may represent programs or interfaces rather than avatars or living people. You can scan them to enter interrogation mode and ask questions just like any other character card. Speak to me. Hello, software. Checking pass. Access granted. Welcome. What is your inquiry? Tell me where this stuff is. Where's this at? Shipment. Blah, blah, blah. Delivery in progress. Checking GPS readings. Found. Sending current cargo coordinates. Location E. Sending automatic copy of data to headquarters. Failed. Data reporting blocked by the server. Should we just go? Let's do it. So yeah. 
You're back at your small apartment. Yeah, we have to go back to where we were. Yeah. That's fine. You return to the alley in the wilds and dive deeper into the dangerous district. The security drone follows you, led by its safety protocol. The GPS coordinates you found in the delivery AI server take you to the doorstep of a large, dark warehouse. Although at first glance it looks abandoned, you quickly spot armed men walking the perimeter. You recognise the wildcat symbol on their jackets. You hide in the shadows, trying to work out their plan, when suddenly the security drone suddenly opens the fire on the gang. The robot fires mercilessly on the surprised gang members. Resistance is almost non-existent and soon the wildcats are dead, heavily wounded or running away. When you are certain the fight is over, you follow a security drone into the warehouse. That was a bit extreme. It's drone? Behind a sliding door. Oops. Whoa! I didn't think that it had moved. It didn't respond to my first several touches. Behind a sliding door, you find a large open space filled with crates of stolen cargo. On the floor, you see a badly wounded man. The security drone is guarding the area. Here's the badly wounded man. You found the stolen cargo. You can continue the investigation to learn more details, or you can close it now. Remember, you don't need irrefutable proof or make the perpetrator admit their guilt to finish. Usually a few clues and some logical reasoning are enough to answer the final questions. So shall we jump to the final questions and see if we know enough? Sure. I'd imagine he got the... Mama, you probably ask him about this and then... Because he was obviously going to sell it to that man. The wounded man is sitting on the floor. Who the hell are you? Some crazy cop. If not, we can just go, can't we? I don't know any names. We just met in cyberspace and they gave me info about shipments. Then we split the money from the cargo after we sold it. I was hesitant at first, but after the first attack was successful, I knew it was a real deal. Besides, if I didn't, if we didn't do it, some other gang would have. I guess yeah, that's it. it. We're back there. The technician is hooked to the delivery AI system. If you're ready to finish, tap solve the case. Are we ready to solve the case? Where is the stolen cargo? It's it's here. The robot's looking after it. Who killed the driver? Him. Oh, we could have asked him that. Who is the true identity? Oh dear. Do you reckon it's it? Well, we don't know anyone else, do we? What if it's him? I don't think it's him. It's Luke. It's all been a chill cross. It could be her. Let's just put it on him. Yeah, it's him. He's dodgy. Why not? He's got a wandering Good eye. Good job. Oh, unfortunately, the true identity of the bull avatar remains a mystery. Why'd you ask me then? Tell us, tell us. Oh, well, maybe we were wrong. Yeah, we were. We don't know who it was. But we got full. We got ten more points than is possible. Case closed in less than 12 hours. We found the stolen cargo. We found who killed the driver. We don't know. Is true identity. Well, let's leave that a mystery. It's like even if you decide to play the, even if you decide to grab it and get the tutorial, there'll still be. Because I wonder if we'd ask a this, mystery this for lady you. about him. Maybe she would have been able to tell us. But I suppose she was just delivering. Yeah, she's just a the delivery. delivery. Yeah, aren't she? Maybe if we asked her. But she although... was hooked up. So that's the tutorial. Yes, I did enjoy it. Well, oh well, not right now. We're, we're busy right now. App wants to rate it. So that's the tutorial. It's just there to, like, as it says, not give you much deduction, but there is, like, the, the basics of the system. So we'll try a scenario and hope that we don't, like, we could have end gotten, up stuck on something simple. We could simple. have gotten more points. But Maybe, as, assuming it's, like, not uh, well, just tricking like, you. Yeah. It could just be tricking you. I'm trying to get all the locations together, H. No. I've got something up. Put the people back in order, because they'll probably crop up again, but they'll be different people. Because uh, I don't think the tutorial story is related to the actual 
Okay, so like if you buy 2400, you see from here, we've just done the tutorial there. It's got two like cases with uh, so the first case has got three scenarios in it. And uh, the end game has got one hard level scenario in it. So the story probably carries on, but you don't you might not need to know to solve it. Like here it says, you know, you don't need to know what happened in one and two to solve two and three. It, like it, it carries on. It's a campaign, but if you wanted to play with new people or something, they could come in on scenario two or three, and still get it. Right then, so uh, let's give it a go then. So, Underworld Rhapsody is the the story. Who was desperate enough to kill a Watchman and risk Belcor's wrath? How far does corporate rule really reach? Find your way through the web of conspiracies entangling the dark heart of Paris. This mini-campaign consists of three scenarios. You should play them in the suggested order. So we're starting with Icarus Descends and, as before, graphic content. But now, use of drugs is uh, a warning. Let's go. We don't have the cybernetics either, I don't think. Embers of red light blaze and fade on your display as the implant slots into place. Sparks of electricity jump between your fingers, briefly illuminating the familiar dimness of your apartment. At last, you've made this old thing operational. Take the cyber implants, zapper and tomograph, I bet you're glad you put that away, and place them on your implant board. Oh, we got a zapper! Tell me the information or I'll shoot. I've got a zapper. Pew pew pew. The zapper is an offensive upgrade capable of shutting down electronics, cybernetics and robots. Scan it in an interrogation mode to use it against the character you are talking to. Be careful. Sometimes such aggress aggressive behaviour may have negative consequences. Uh, we know Tomograph, don't we? It tell us if the people have got implants and stuff. At that instant, your raven lets out an incoming message signal. It's from an old friend by the name of Louis Crozier. Cro Crozier? Leader of a gang called the Scrappers. He seems desperate. He begs you to meet him at a designated location in the scrapyard. It's a matter of life or death. And he, sa he says, and you owe him a favour anyways, so whatever he needs, it might be a chance to make things even. You do one last equipment check, order the raven to join you, and prepare to leave. So we're charged up. I guess like we we've got nothing, so we head out. Scrap and debris. You've arrived in the forgotten part of the city that still bears scars of the old wars. The Belcor Dome, shining in the distance, stands in stark contrast to this desolate place. You make your way through the ruins, noticing the only new objects here. Several shiny, automated monitoring stations bristling with cameras. They look completely out of place amidst the surrounding decay. Finally, you reach the coordinates Louis Crozier gave you. You see him waiting next to the a scene of slaughter. Something's happened. Two dead bodies lie in the scrap. One looks like a ganger. With a start, you realise the other is wearing the uniform of the Belcor Watchmen. Uh oh. Which one's the scrapper? This one. Seven. He gave them to me in that order. Yeah, but the order doesn't matter. Yeah, but just for our minds. I prefer better circumstances, but no lie. I'm glad you're here. It goes like this we have a dead watchman on our hands. That means we have 24 hours at most before the watchmen notice and barge in, guns blazing. They'll call it an investigation, but it'd be much worse. We all know how it works. No sane person could kill a watchman, unless it was self-defence. I need you to find out what happened. Prove the watchman had it coming. 
We have some friends among the watchmen. Find Sergeant Fabron in precinct P09. He should be able to help you. He'll know how to avoid escalation. Bye, Anne. That makes sense. See you later. Who's this fella? Not one of mine. Might be Corinne's man. If you ask me, the cop got him. Then someone else off the cop. Any info about who he was? He was a bad one and he had this coming, but Belcor looks after its own. There will be an investigation, possibly a full crackdown right after they declare him missing. You need to prevent this, you understand. Go to precinct. PO9 and talk to Nate, Sergeant Nathan Fabron. He might be able to help. Investigate the crime scene. Okay. Have you got the cards? Yes, I do. Switch the scene. Okay. Step back from the mic. Let's go. Three. Two. What? Okay, there is some kind of gun. There is a dead body. Blood. Sunlight. Cars. Steel pipes. Like blood coming out of some kind of machine that's like got wires and things in it. Dead policemen. Pipes. Uh, like cameras, CCTV. Um, there's like some kind of oil refinery in the distance. There's lots of trash. Do you want to look right to see if you can see anything? But it still takes time, doesn't it? If we say go again. Yeah. So let's just scan what we've got and see. Okay, well, we'll go what with trash again. I don't know if you, what's happened on there. Oh, I need to make it normal again. Trash is then. scattered and piled all around you. However, I might you notice a discarded multi-tool and an empty injector. Both look new. 29 and 8. I've got 29. Oh, I haven't got the injector. Oh, medicine and drugs. There we go. So we don't need the trash. I said tools. We need to scan those oh, things, okay. don't we? It looks like some kind of injector, new and advanced, but empty. Tools. A cheap disposable multi-tool lies next to the damaged surveillance station. Okay, I've got photos and cameras. <laughs> The object appears to be an automated surveillance station. It's offline. A piece seems to be missing. I put blood and organs. There's a lot of blood here, but then again, this place is a gang war zone. No way of telling which samples are related to your case. Perhaps you need more precise equipment to find what you need. That thing. Oh, turn that on and then scan the blood, do you think? Or the body. I don't know, can we do that? Bullet cases lying on the ground came from an old type of firearm. The watchman appears unarmed. What you first take for a weapon is actually a medical injector. <laughs> Cords. No. You just threw on about like that thing with all the cables wires and, things. and cables. The dead holds of vehicles from a bygone era don't yield any interesting information. That's all I found for now. Okay. Well, then if you want to turn the thing on and look at him and then look at this. Oh, and scan, like, the two people to see if they no, had... No, that one. That one. Let's zap the man. I don't trust him. So you can only scan characters, so this blood thing's useless. 
Aside from the gunshot wound in the middle of his forehead, there are a lot of drugs in his system. They appear to be common street type stims. Stims? Stims. We found a stim sample. And I guess while we're here... I don't think you've got it beeped in anymore. What? He wasn't killed with the same weapon that the bullet casings came from. His wounds were made by some kind of directed energy weapon. Energy weapon? Hmm. There was some kind of symbol. Well. We'll, we'll take input. I think it's in the bottom. Or not. Well, I just thought because I put the ones from last time at the bottom... Sorry. Everything else that we'd use was at the bottom. Warning symbols prohibiting unauthorized tampering draw you your attention towards a shiny monitoring station. We've got that. Okay, so the the, the sign was just telling us about the surveillance station. Okay then. So do you think we've got all there is to know here? We could ask him about the drugs, I guess. I don't know if that will we'll just go find and us anything. This guy. Let's move on. On the very edge of what might be considered the city's good side, the White Tower of Precinct P09 overlooks the slums. You find your way to the correct section and approach the secretary's desk. Card five. <laughs> Eva Dubois reads her name tag. The secretary looks tired and busy as she looks up from her screen and listens to your request. Sergeant Fabron, great. So you're his problem, not mine. Come in. Behind her, you see Sergeant Fabron, who has just finished talking to a colleague, number four, a woman also wearing a watchman uniform. She notices you and discreetly beckons you to approach. Shall we just move on to her? Yes, yeah, so, so You don't want to ask I. the secretary anything? Not right now. Ask her about the raven. Hello, how can I help you? Just going with these drugs. Yeah. Why not? Have you considered the possibility that Moro was drugged against his will? Maybe there's more to this case than we thought. I suppose we, could have, we didn't crow them, did we? No. Clearly someone removed the memory core from this monitoring station. If you manage to locate it, the data could provide us with the recording of the crime. This is the exact kind of proof you should be looking for. Hmm. Ask her about one of these, surely. Or him. Ask him. His name was Pierre Moreau. He was a good man, but I can imagine him stepping out of line. Who's this? Another gang leader, I think. Because he said that he's, he's one of her men. Her influence extends over the lawless territory of the wilds. I can't tell you where exactly. She's proficient at avoiding us. Okay, so we found a location. It's not bad. Watchmen rarely attempt to intervene Sorry. there. It was deemed not cost effective. Her particular dislike for all kinds of bots has cost us a lot of equipment. Right, so another page. Ask her about anything else? That's Corinne. That's Corinne. We could ask her about the core. All this man, but I suppose if he's it, she won't know anything about no. him, will she? Yeah. I don't know if she'll have anything extra to say on it. Oh, try finding if that, you mate. If find it, you'll solve the case. Okay, speak to the man that we were sent to speak to, I guess. Yep. Louis told me about the problem. A dead watchman is a serious matter, but I owe him a favour, so yeah. I'll help you where I can. If you want to avoid the investigation, here's what you need. 
First, find reliable proof that our anonymous shooter killed Moreau in self-defence. A recording of the scene or something. By itself, that isn't enough. The corp looks after its own, but only as long as they're loyal. You need to find something to prove Moreau was bad for Belcourt. Misuse of resources, stealing from the company, that sort of thing. Those elements will help you keep the entire thing quiet. Of course, it would be better to get some real dirt on the corporation itself. Then you're almost guaranteed Belcourt will silence the whole thing. But I don't think you're that lucky. Hmm. Let's go for this drug. I can't help you, officially. Normally we'd get this to the lab, but I can't give you access. Even if I could, for some reason the corporation blocked our accounts a few days back. So the lab is barely functional anyways. What you should do is log on to the Goblin Market and find Ariadne there. She'll assist you. I've got to log on to the Goblin Market. Where's the people cards? We need card 32. Yeah, we've got 60 energy. See ya. Yes, I want to enter cyberspace. You log onto the net. A digital landscape surrounds you. Strange creatures skulk in odd corners, appearing and disappearing as they visit private sub channels. Drugs? Asks the small owl avatar. Hmm. Do you sell stims by any chance? You spot Ariadne's ID as she sends you a greeting from across the room. towards the owl drugs if you want to procure more arrangements can be made for a meeting in three to seven business days uh, what do you know about this fella information cannot be disclosed about customers they said he was a customer detected that Nathan Fabron told me you'd be coming. My name's Ariadne. I assist the watchman. I can help with analysis of any chemicals or electronics you might encounter. You know what? You need some tech. I have a box of hidden in the Court of Miracles. Here are the coordinates. I'll leave some useful equipment there for you. Feel free to use it for the duration of this case. Oh. Thanks, love. It's called the Sniffer, a construction of my own design. It should be compatible with your frame and might pick up some details at the scene that your senses miss. Do I have some kind of hidden agenda? No, I just like giving away advanced technology. Of course I have an agenda. There are bigger matters at work and you're worth more than much more as a friend than an obstacle. Do you want my help or not? Oh, it's a bit snippy. Rude. Tell us about these drugs. Let me check. Drugs, street-made stims, something the faceless would provide. But there could be more waiting to be found. Have you sniffed through the crime scene yet? Not yet, but we're here. I don't want to spend another 20%. She knows nothing about the economy of batteries, does she? There's nothing else we can really ask her about, is there? We don't have any technology because we don't know where this no, is. No, we've just got missing technology. So let's exit the information superhighway. I think my environment feels oddly uncomfortable after the time you spent in the neon twilight. You see Eva Dubois... Sitting behind a desk, and... Okay, everyone's still there. In the shadow of the old cathedral, a peculiar market has grown. Bright lights and strange smells assault your augmented senses as all manner of strange and forbidden dealings happen around you. You find the shack that Belle Declare, the fixer, calls her shop. The location of Ariadne's lockbox blinks on your display. The object is well hidden behind piles of scrap, but you find it without any problem. It quickly confirms your biometrics and unlocks. Inside you find the implant Ariadne is lending you. It is of modular design and slots easily into your ports. A moment after you do, do so, blinking indicators on your display confirm the implant is ready to use. You've received a new cyber implant, the sniffer. Use it at any location where you can search the scene. Scan the sniffer card before searching the scene to highlight details that are impossible to detect with the naked eye. But remember, sniffer only highlights what would normally be hidden. It's always worth to look around before activating, as the sensor data it displays may just as well obscure clues easily visible to the naked eye. 
So we can only look around the crime scene for now. She, who's she? She's a scrap dealer? She's the fixer. She's a fixer. Talk to her. The name's Belle, but they call me the fixer. I've heard about you and what you do. It'd be a pleasure doing business with some of your reputation. Showing off the Marty pop socket. My pop socket broke. What, what does she do? Fixes things. Can she fix Fi the... Get us, get us this thing? It can be decoded if you find it. I'd very much prefer you didn't ask me to perform the task. It's dangerous as hell. These things are easily tracked and Belcourt doesn't like people digging into their property. What's the tool? What was it? Wasn't it the, the tool for injecting medicine? Oh. I thought that was the medicine. Yeah, I sell those. Good for dismantling electronics. Cheap disposable. I've sold several in the last few days. <sighs> Does she know any of them people? Queen Corinne's man. So he got himself killed. Okay. Does, Does she know any of these? He keeps it calm in the slums and efforts are appreciated, but he'd do anything to keep his little kingdom. You certainly didn't off the cop himself. Sending you to dig up some days on him would make a hell of a lot of sense. We didn't use the... No. Special tracker so on him. just ask her about this man, although... I'm just thinking that she sold a tool that takes apart this camera to somebody. If she knows it. Oh, I know that one. He's dead. He had it coming, honestly. Watchmen don't usually come here, and for good reason. No wonder he got himself shot. So we don't know why any of them came there. No. But so shall we... We'll go back to shall the we go to the crime scene and, and use this snicker. thing? Do we... Also maybe scan the other guy. Yeah. Shall we scan the area first? So everyone's still here. So we scan the new thing. Sniffer activates. Highlighted outlines and data feeds flood your senses. You should now search the scene again. Okay. I'm going to search the scene. Without glasses. Here we go. Oh, 21. 21. Oh, no, it's just telling you the cards. Five. Number one. Person number one. Oh, it's, t it's telling me, like, is any of this new information? I don't think it's telling me anything new. It is like monochrome, so it is harder to see, I guess. Have we got number five? Is that something new? We scanned it, but it said that it wasn't any good. Maybe, maybe the card will activate now because we found the number five with this. Maybe it'll be, maybe it'll say, yes, you did find blood now. Because before it was like... You locate and collect a previously unnoticed fresh blood sample from the monitoring station. It's unlikely that it came from either of the dead men. Interesting. More blood. His blood. So are we going to scan him? Yeah. Indicates he has several artificial organs. There are also signs of numerous structural repairs. His heart rate makes it clear he's nervous or lying. Right. Stun him. Now oh, we need to recharge. <laughs> See you later, mate. We'll be back later. We'll be back later to stun you. Oh, do you know about this, this blood, mate? Well, someone clearly bled it. You should get this analysed by someone with proper equipment. Who analyses stuff? She does. Yeah. So we need to go home. Should we go to the slums place first? Perhaps. But to recharge, recharge maybe in case we need the... Yeah, I'm going home first. Investigator. Recharge for an hour. And then where do you want to go? To analyse the blood first? Or you wanted to go the... to the wild, didn't you? Maybe, maybe it'll answer some questions. This part of town is a labyrinth of old blocks. A series of gunshots sound in the distance. Be on your guard. This is a dangerous place. You should really know where you're going. Okay, that was a mistake. Interesting. 
interesting. Raven, do you know where she is? <gasps> He's found her. As you find the ramshackle camp, armed gangers escort you before their queen. She sits on a throne welded together from several destroyed combat drones. On her right hand sits a heavily armed man who turns a vacant stare towards you. A heavily armed man? If you mean armed... When you say armed, if you mean piercings all over his face, then yeah. Maybe he's just got a lot of arms. still on the raven. He's still on the yeah. raven and that just costs time. So, yep. Yeah. Silly. Don't make me regret tolerating your presence. What do you want? Did Dai Lung send you to apologise for his failure? Who? Maybe he was mine, maybe not. Why would I tell you? Would a recording of the shootout really change much? They watch us kill each other all the time. It would be very, very helpful. You're wasting my time. Careful doing that. Who is this guy? Useless worm. He oversees the flow of goods from the faceless to me. He failed to secure our last meeting properly. Now I've lost both Fayed and my package. So that is her person, she just admitted. I can't have, have him killed, sadly. Faceless deems him important. But what I would give to see him humiliated. Do, well, does she know who Faceless is? Probably not. We should have asked the Raven about the Faceless. We still can. The source of our combat stims. I deal with him mostly through Dai Lung. At least I did before the scrapyard shooting. Hmm... Should we go online? Thank you for subscribing, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. I don't think we want to stun people. We can't do the area. Do we want to... What does it matter if they've got implants? this guy? I don't think he's going to have anything to say. We evolve, apparently. <laughs> oh, he's not going to have anything to say. He's got all the information. He's sending us under the dome. There's no space. Yeah, don't go online here. Our body will be helpless. Should we just zoom there then? Yeah. There you are. Situated right below the Belcourt Dome, this underground shanty town is a good reminder that the future, as bright as it may be, is not evenly distributed. A poor place where drugs and illegal VR chambers provide the closest thing to joy that most locals will ever know. People scurry away as you approach, except for one junkie who throws you a friendly greeting. Should we go online while we're here and find out where that blood is? Before we speak to that man. I think something's going to kick off and make welcome. it dangerous. Welcome! Welcome to our humble domain. How can I be of service? The faceless devoted min... The faceless is de devoted minion. He, like his master, rarely stoops to our level. Once in an unfortunate circumstances, I followed him back to his hideout. Maybe that will be of some use for you. Let me mark the location for you. Have you seen this guy hanging around? Alas, I don't know anything of use about this matter. Is uh, anyone giving you any recordings? I'm not saying it again. It's not, it's she asking about anything else? She's asking about the faceless? The ever-flowing source of our joys. He rarely talks to scum like us, but if he does, it's in the goblin market. Okay. 
I think we should go online before we go to this hideout. Find what out what this blood is. is this guy? Maybe. How would that help us? I'm just saying. I'm not saying. Just send send her a message. Um. I can just if I turn the phone off for a sec. No, that didn't work. I might be needed for something. I don't think so. I haven't had any messages. I've messaged just there. Okay. So, I don't think he's going to have anything else to say. Is he? Maybe he's the faceless. I feel like he's the faceless. That man? Yeah. Zap him with this, then. Well, just not anything particular about him. He's got the faint glow of nanobots in his bloodstream, as well as residual traces of regular drug use. Apart from uh, that, nothing. Uh, mate, what's going on with these uh, nanobots? You got any bloodstream? Bit sus. She, no, no, she got these nanobots. Stick them up. So, just just happened to notice you've got some cybernetics. What's going on there, mate? I've been taking up some nano stims in my time, and to give you an expert's opinion, there's no notable difference between them and the chemical variety. All right, so he's not. Don't care. Not See ya. Bothered. He's not bothered. <laughs> we've seen that before. Oh, uh, we've we've seen all of these before. So we were we were, came on here to ask her about the blood. It doesn't belong to either of the dead men. It might belong to the killer or the person who stole the component. Just let me run it through the system. And here we go. It belongs to one Philippe Aziz, known as Lil Phil. <laughs> Gang member, but young. You might want to find him. A very likely suspect, all things considered. Let's cover out these nano. What would I give for an actual sample? You should take the sniffer for a run in the scrapyard. Maybe you'll find something interesting. We did. What? Right. Maybe we should send her. Maybe we should get her to scan the medicine now that we've used this the zapper. Because that's the drugs, isn't it? No. Oh, let's see. Oh, your other finds. What else was there? No. Well, that's... I don't understand that. Confused.com. Now, that's interesting. The casings themselves are easily identified as something the fixer, Belle de Clare, would sell. It's a slummer weapon, but these contain traces of something more advanced. Well, that's interesting, because we didn't ask her about that. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else to ask her about, is there? Why is the owl there? Is that just like a red herring or what? But what would we ask him about? The firearm. Oh, that's one of the phases is bots. They turn up on many public channels. It sells drugs. No one seems to mind, though. Uh, put some touch with this fella. I need, I need some cybernetics. Suddenly, the lights of the goblin market fade as your consciousness is ripped out of the net and back into your physical body. The humming of VR chambers and hushed voices once again heard with clarity. There is movement in the shadows, fading away as you scan your surroundings. The underdome is calm again. Years of training have rendered your senses sharp, even though through the haze of the net. But you know you shouldn't make yourself vulnerable in dangerous places. Matt, you did try and warn us that it was still wasn't safe. But someone zipped into the cybernet. 
who is this? Aziz Philippe, age 18, wanted for five separate minor offences. Attempt in tracking, attempt fail. We can't use a sniffer on the firearms because you can only use the sniffer on the crime scene. Yeah, it, it's acting like... So I like... thought that if we looked at the the firearms again now we had used it because that's what we did with the blood we scanned the blood the first time and it said maybe you'll find more another time then we went back and scanned it after searching with the sniffer and then it just worked didn't it but we you don't have the sniffer turned on it's just that you search with the sniffer and then scanned it after and it changed it's acting like we can find well she was acting like we could find something else at the well location you didn't see anything, did you? No. Did anyone else see anything when I was scanning it? Should we go here? Just because it's somewhere near. The hideout. The clean and proper business district feels strange after your time in the slums. As you follow the directions, you find yourself in front of an unassuming office door. It is guarded by a sleek android nearly twice your size. Hey, uh... Ma'am, I'm sorry to say, I can't let you pass this door. Pew, pew, pew! Get zapper. All right, all right no problem. We're leaving. Pew, 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 pew. What? Oh, did I do the wrong thing? So you got to speak to him again. Then... Uh, no, no problem. We don't want to go past the door. A concentrated blast of electromagnetic energy instantly disables his electronic brain. <laughs> Now nothing remains to prevent you from entering the office. Inside you find a visibly frightened man glaring at you with one organic and one artificial eye. Don't shoot, he cries. I'm cooperating. The office contains a peculiar mix of interesting objects. What, Tom? That might be worth examining more closely. Don't Press spoil it the story. With Jin disabled, you can now search the office freely. So if we do a normal search yeah, and then to, we'll do a special yeah, search. Yeah, you have to do both, don't you? The normal search makes... The special search makes everything else kind of black and white. So... Am I searching? Who's searching? I don't know, me, I suppose, because you had to turn last time. Okay. I'm ready. Can you spin Marty around? So we've got a little Marty. Okay. I'm ready. I know, I'm just preparing myself. It gives you five seconds for base. Look, I've got to focus. Computers, graffiti, cables, a statue of a head. So a temperature is 20 degrees. Paperwork, or oh, I don't know what that is. Documents, maybe. Bedding. Curtain. Trash. Documents on the floor. Money. Books. Lights. Computers. Things. Table. Chair. Folders. Did you find the card that said things? You said a lot of things. I just mean, did you find the one that I specifically said things? So the thing is, it costs us time. Digging through a it? trash can only yields only a contemptuous smile from Dye Lung. Oh, save that. Get the sniffer on that in a minute. We we'll find a book on the desk. It turns out to be Dye Lung's ledger, partially written in some sort of cipher. Ledger. Paper money isn't very interesting, but this credit chip has potential. Someone with proper equipment might be able to extract a transaction history from it. Oh, questionable no, decor. Nothing, nothing to know there. Nope. No communication devices, Rich. An official looking envelope addressed to this office. It's empty, but there's a Bellcore logo stamped on it. Maybe it's time to ask around about Belcor itself. In addition to this card, take the special card. The 
The screen share mostly market data, nothing useful. The office computer is secure and the files encrypted. It would take days to extract anything useful. A stack of papers piled next to it catches your attention instead. You've already got that. The bell call logo is stamped on an official looking envelope. Say the bell call thing instead. So, first we want to do a special search, don't we? Okay. Ready to press these things at the same time. Special search time. Um. Oh, there's a box. So I'm turning back round. I know I shouldn't be seeing it. But... Thirty-six. I wanted a little peep. I think that's all there is to see. It's got all them zappers in it, the guns in it. So Ooh. I guess trash, not a thing. Boxes and packages, however, are a thing. The sniffer picks up a lot of activity in a previously hidden compartment. There's a lot of nanobots inside it, more than a hundred injectors worth. It appears you found an Icarus stash. Uh... Oh yeah, because we've got it, haven't we? Uh, what's going on with this Icarus stash? Don't expect me to sell this here. We usually do that kind of thing in the Underdome. Oh. Uh, okay, now with your, your papers, mate. We make deals. You don't need to know more about the about them. If you did, the Faceless would tell you. Do you know anything about this person? That kid is one of Queen Corinne's. Collects our deliveries sometimes. If you need him, it is within the Faceless's power to make him talk to you. Just remember, child or not, all of Corinne's men are killers. What was this? Oh, this is the company, isn't it? We've made a deal. If you were supposed to know more, the Faceless would tell you. Tell us where to see the Faceless, then. Come on, tell us. Tell us. Tell us or we'll zap you. He's following your case with great interest. If he deems you interesting enough, you may find him in the Goblin Market. So I will appear. <laughs> What should we do then? Next up. It doesn't seem like he's going to tell us anything. So let's go back to her and ask her about these gun things because she sells her. her. Yeah, no, um, this lady here. Because they said she sells these gun drug guns an old type of ammo few folks here can afford caseless guns I might have sold those hard to tell for sure because she was specifically mentioned I think you ask her about that lad they behave like they rule the entire city honestly I guess they kind of do the watchmen are theirs these new monitoring stations are theirs they basically control the entire place A good kid. He's one of Queen Corinne's gangers. She might know how to find him. I just so happen to know where to find her. Yeah, we know that. Listen, that many nano stims? No way it was made out here on the streets. This sort of thing requires an actual laboratory. Next page. If anyone around these parts knows about stims, it's either the Faceless or Queen Corinne. So I suppose we could ask Queen Corinne about the... The box. Are we going there? Yeah. I... Yes. We didn't scan the man. We didn't though. ask him about himself. I think you can do that. 
Uh, so yeah, the yeah. same people. You receive a message. Ooh. I hope you're making progress. Some people are starting to worry. You don't have much time before they start looking for Moreau. We're trying our best. I mean... Rumour has it you kick Dai Lung around. This happens to amuse me greatly. Therefore, I am granting you an audience. Tell us about the drugs immediately. Yeah, he's one of mine. A good kid. He can manage. There's no need for you to meet him. The Watchmen don't even know he exists. If they did, well, then he would be in danger and that would change things. The source of your combat stims. Some tissue reconstructors and most forms of entertainment. He's never been seen in person. I know this sort of stim. It's new. My men use it. It's called Icarus. But she wanted to see, didn't she, the lady Ariadne? Yeah. Should we go back to her with some of this stuff? Yeah. So go somewhere safe. Should I recharge? I suppose mm -hmm. not. We've got enough, haven't we, for now? Yeah, to get there. We can recharge afterwards. So the things about that. Yes, we have got things to analyse. Heard the word a few times. Some new stim entering the market. Nanobot based. It took over the scene extremely fast. Worryingly so. But we've actually got samples of it, haven't we? No way it was produced on the street in this quantity. We're talking a real laboratory with actual production capabilities. The Bell Call logo points towards a likely culprit. Have we found anything else since? There's the money chip. This is interesting. I'm scrolling through a lot of data here, but to some of the parts you probably care about, this is your proof. The account block on Precinct P09 is a direct result of Officer Moreau spending company money on stims. The man has clearly lost his company a lot of money and compromised the entire Watchman Precinct's work as a side effect. If there's something Balcor doesn't like, it's people costing them money. Have we got anything else we can ask her about? I suppose she won't know about the ledger, will she? No. And the envelope. The faceless. Well, I suppose she doesn't analyse things, does she? No. <laughs> books. Also oh. books. The re credit chips would be more of a help. But more use if you want me to help. From what I can see, though, this ledger implicates Moreau in some kind of unlawful spending. Yeah. What did the papers talk about? Envelope. Oh, it was just the envelope with the thing on it, wasn't it? Yeah. So he's involved in some way. He's getting all of this stuff from their company. But he's spending company money to buy stims for himself. Maybe we should go back to that company and ask her about mm -hmm. how all this stuff's getting out. Anything else to do while we're in cyberspace? Not this time. We can talk to the owl, but... You're being given access to a private line. Please hold until Mr. Faceless becomes available. Good job, Matt. Faceless's avatar manifests, ne manifests next to you. His featureless visage turns towards you in silent greeting. You haven't scanned the Faceless, Matt. Oh. So you have found me, or at least I allowed you to find me. I've been following your current assignment with great interest and I might be willing to offer some assistance. Oh, 
same thing. Belcor is useful at times. They provide us with business, especially in relation to Icarus. His people work for me sometimes, a source of a good source of reliable runners. He wouldn't take kindly to a watchman on his territory, though. Are you certain of his motivations? So basically, he killed this guy and he probably killed this guy. If you track it down, I wouldn't mind learning about your findings. What did you just scan? Security missing footage. Thing. Where is that? So, but they were involved somehow. Their blood is there. Yeah. Ah, the dead man. He was a good client once. Then he tried to rob us. If he wasn't already dead, we'd be taking steps to kill him ourselves. Hmm. Okay. Feels like we should ask him about things while we're here, but... Have you actually asked him about Icarus? Yeah, he just says he's opening line again. Oh, no. As you seem rather well informed on that the matter already. Scanned. No. You scanned him. You scanned oh. him. Belcor start and then you scan this. Belcor started supplying us with the next generation of combat stimulants, for an extremely low price, I might add. Obviously it was some form of test run, but we're not here to look at a gift horse in the mouse mouth. We made a huge amount of money selling to gangers involved in street wars, however, questions are now being asked. Your case, for example, has drawn attention we were frankly not prepared for. My organisation is pulling out of the deal. Why? Partly because Belcor failed to divulge the nanobots in an Icarus user's bloodstream. It can be tracked by certain tools, such as the newly built network of monitoring stations. Belcor responsive many of these automated surveillance stations, mostly around poor district, and not long before they started supplying Icarus shipments. I've been wondering if the two events are connected. Have we got anything else to ask him about? Oh. Some watchmen have unsavoury habits we provide. So what, she has drugs. Scan her. Is there anything else we could be doing here now? I feel like we've asked him about... Pretty much everything. Nope. Should we go? Where to? To scan her. Ask him about this man up here. Keep forgetting about him. No, oh, nothing there. I don't think there's anything else relevant to ask him about, is there? I feel like we've asked him about most of the things. So are we charging? Yeah. And then we're going to her. The thing is, she might just... doesn't mean she's suspicious, does it? No. But she might have these things in her. A data transmitter device implanted in her school. That must be what she used to contact you when you first met. Okay. She's just a receptionist, isn't she? Did we scan this man? Yeah, said that he's lying or. Oh yeah, he's got some. He's got some artificial organs. I think we go back to him and ask him some shizzle. So 
so he's involved in what way? It's just his area, isn't it? Balcor has come out testing their new stims here, using our little wars, as if that wasn't bad enough you're seeing in mantra stations of theirs. Can track every single user. This information changes things for my folk. Maybe he's not suspicious. Yeah, how can we find them? Maybe we go to her and tell her that her people are being tracked. Yeah. There are gunshots. Otherwise, same thing. So that's probably telling you don't go in cyberspace here. You heard about this? Yeah. Uh, Balcor makes it. Damn it, I might reconsider our deal. So nothing new to say about them. Deal. Hmm. Okay, this changes things then, I don't... What about... We already showed her that last time. So... We need her to tell tell us where this person is so we can get the evidence back. What if we ask the the bloke that told us where the other guy was already? Didn't return. Sent to meet the descent. Meet the descent. Why is that somewhere? Is that somewhere where we know? To meet the descent. <laughs> where that would be? Do you think it means like here? The Underdome Den? Descent? I don't know. Nothing to tell us, basically. Hmm. So we're pretty much at solving it, but we haven't got that evidence. No, we're not, because we don't know who killed this man. He killed him, they killed him. Who did? That person. That's why they're on the run. I'm just not really sure where to find this person now. The Ravens no help. I've kind of been to a lot of the places. I don't think he's got anything else to say. What do you think? I, I don't know. We always end up in this little... We don't know what thing we need to scan to move the story on. Yeah, it wants us to do something, but I'm not really sure what. It feels like we've asked people about... Wasn't there something we wanted to ask him about? Did we ask him about the missing runner? Cooperating. Did we ask him about them? Oh, that's the faceless about. Did we not ask the faceless about them? I thought you did. Go back there then. Do you think it's safe? Well, for quick, I suppose. It was when we spent a long time in there when we got a beep.
There we go. Hey, do you say you're beautiful? I can help you meet him now. He's waiting for you in the Court of Miracles. Down here. There we go. That's what we needed. So, yeah. You're back in the neon glow of the Court of Miracles. The shop is nearby. A boy, a gang of buyers, looks, approaches. You recognise Lil Phil. He is holding an electronic device of some kind and is visibly frightened. You receive a message from Sergeant Mercia. You're running out of time. The search for Moreau will start soon. This device, his biometrics mate. show high levels of stress. He has no injuries ever caught on his palm. The device is the, the video. We just need it off him. Yo, you found me. Turn off this thing for me. Because he knows he can be tracked. He shows you the device he's holding. It's the memory core. Zap it. I suppose we can't zap it because it will destroy it. Turn it off. Well, yeah, zapping it seems. Maybe it wants us to zap it. Zap it. I'm sure it's not going to say like. Just zap it. It's not going to say, "Oh, you failed the thing," does it? You touch the core he's holding, and a precise application of electronic impulse disables all its active functions. He calms down a bit and hands you the missing memory core. There we go. So we need to go online and ask about it. Uh, what's going on? This guy, yo, he tried to shoot us, so Marie shot him. It was self-defence. She took this drug thing, healed like instantly. It was crazy. Okay, where can we find her then, mate? So, we met some hours back, right? She had this Icarus package from my boss, already paid for. But we were attacked and now Fayed is dead. Marie took the Icarus thing herself, killed the cop and went into hiding. I have a contact on my phone. Here, take this. I was going to throw it out anyway, so the watchman can't trap me. You could probably go cater, locate her through it. Here we go. Should we ask about anything else? Or ask her about the phone? Or... No. The raven with the phone. Or Shall digital person with the phone. phone. So if you can do that, can you? Okay. Raven then, I guess. Hey, Raven. Uh, use this communication device. Tracking contact. Tracking contact's phone. Subject found. Providing coordinates to Underdome. Interference prevents getting a pinpoint location. So we know where she is. Should we log up? Yeah. But that's our last bit of, it, of our energy. Should we go there first? Yeah. And then go home and recharge, and in case we need to zap someone, and then go home and recharge. Hello. What about this person? Oh, our dear Marie, I know her well. She's here, you know, although you'll have to wait until the digital dream has ended to talk to her. That could take some time. He leads you deeper around the shady VR pods where our girl is hiding. As soon as she sees you, she raises a watchman issue laser emitter. Who are you and what the hell? Who the hell sent you and what do you want? The laser emitter points at you looks dangerous, but her hands are shaking. Should we so talk we to her, to or we just zap her? The kid, health. Are you that lady Crozier was talking about? Can you really help me? Yes. Okay, I'll tell you everything. He attacked us, all drugged up, got some hits in. We hid. Fayed. Kruin's man tried to fight, but didn't do much. I injected this Icarus thing I was meant to deliver. Immediately healed, then shot him. Then ran. I 
Okay, well, who did she get the Icarus off? I don't know. Actually, well, that's what they were delivering. We don't need it? to know, do we? Yeah, I said, who did she get it from? I suppose we don't need to know. No. I'm afraid they might be hunting me now. I'm innocent. It was the watchman who attacked us. What was this guy up to at the time? He's a good leader. Takes us in, gives us jobs. I wouldn't want to disappoint him. So, do we ask her about anything else? I don't think so. So we're going to go somewhere safe and log on? Mm-hmm. We didn't need the zapper. Yes. Cyberspace. Uh, ask you. I have got something to analyse. This. You found it. Give me a moment. I'll run this through decryption for you. First of all, it's important you know this thing gathers a lot more data than a simple camera station should. Second of all, here's your relevant recording. You see the scene from the scrapyard on Phil before you. A man and a young girl, both looking like gang members, are involved in a transaction of some sort. A boy watches from a safe distance, apparently accompanying one of them. Suddenly, a watchman barges into view, shooting a laser gun on full auto. The male ganger returns fire while the girl hides behind nearby wreckage. The boy disappears from view. The ganger is shot several times and dies. The watchman, screaming and shooting blindly, advances towards the girl's hiding spot. Moving impossibly fast, the girl dashes out from cover, aiming her own gun. She receives a grazing hit, but the wound instantly regenerates without bleeding. The watchman stops, shocked, while she fires a single shot. It hits him in the middle of his forehead and he collapses. Good shot. The girl looks around in panic. She crouches by the dead watchman and picks up his gun. Then she runs away, leaving the dead bodies behind her. The boy re-enters view. He checks the ganger's pulse. Then he goes through the dead officer's pockets and finally approaches the camera. Using a disposable multi-tool, he removes the front panel. At one point, he appears to cut his hand on a sharp edge. In the final seconds of footage, he disables the station and the recording stops. That's how his blood got at the scene, then. He cut his hand while he was taking the camera out. So... Solve? Yeah, let's just do it. I feel like we've got a lot of information, haven't we? We're going to solve the case. Yes. What proof do you have that Moreau made Belcor lose money? The That's ledgers. the money, isn't it? The money yeah. clip. The money chip does that. What proof do you have that he's killed in self-defense? The video. Who killed Moreau? This person. Where are Icarus injectors stored? This? Oh. At that place? Yeah, I'm not sure what it wants me to say. In, in here. In this storage. Although, more literally, this location. Who is behind the Icarus project? That company. Which of the watchmen will you entrust the proof you've gathered? Oh. Well, didn't the... I don't know. Yeah, didn't the faceless yeah. man know? It's like, oh, we provide... Proof came to the right hands and then travelled further to the people making decisions high up above and somewhere in an office high above the city. The decision was made to not pursue investigation concerning Officer of Moreau's death. Life in the slums went back to its normal rhythms with small wars fought by desperate people over scraps. Marie Pascal was able to return to her life. Hard as that existence is. The Icarus Project has clearly moved on to its next phase, whatever that might be. But whatever Belcor is planning, you'll be ready.
Yes, we will. Oh, look at that. So Boom, it, full score. So it took us ages, but... We, we did it in less than 22 hours, though. We so got, we still did it within time. Yeah, we got all the questions right. And we've done... Marie's still alive, because I suppose you could have zapped her and killed her or something. Like... Yeah, we've done a we've done a load of extra things. So although it took us ages, we're still over the hundred points mark, which I'm pretty pleased with. It's still it's still a five star. Huh? It's, there feeling, was one... it's feeling pretty grim at one point. Yeah, on there was the only there was only there. one hang up, but like he did say, "Oh, I'd just forgotten." He I did, thought he, we had scanned. We had we we asked him about her, and he said, "Oh, the faceless man would probably tell you where she is," but I don't think we met the faceless man until ages afterwards. And by the time we talked to him, we'd forgotten that he'd said that. Whereas, no, I thought you'd scanned him. We didn't ask the faceless man about her. We asked him about loads of things. But just not there. But yeah, there we go. I think that's a that's a good look. It's Chronicles of Crime 2400. A little tutorial. And the first big old case. I like all this cybernetic stuff. I like the... I, I wouldn't say that the extra searching was that good in this one. It seemed like mm. you just had to go back and search again. And like at the crime scene, it was just yeah. But the second one, this this search here that revealed that hidden box. So yeah, yeah. You like you needed to do it to like point something we, out. We didn't know about the blood properly. Yeah, I like the zapper though, and I like this seeing people having implants and stuff. It's cool. Interesting seeing where it goes with that because uh, yeah, it's exclusive to this kind of cyberpunky version of Chronicles of Crime. I hope you enjoyed that, and yeah, it's it's available now. I think actually. It came out very recently in the UK, I imagine. Elsewhere, I don't know about when games come out in other places. But yeah, you can get hold of a copy of it if you would like to see further into the mysteries. Thanks for watching, though. We'll be back next week with more streams, more games and things. April's starting, isn't it, next week? I don't know if there'll be the vote straight away. The vote might be the week after. There'll be Hadrian's Wall. There'll be all sorts of stuff. Uh, look on Monday on social media and see what uh, streams are happening. What we'll be doing, Rach. What will we be doing? I don't know. And yeah, there'll be a playthrough up on Patreon very soon. The Taverns of Tiefenthal Open Doors uh, two-player playthrough. Little Glass Marty's back. That'll be up on uh, YouTube for everyone tomorrow. Uh, it's available on Patreon now, though. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to see that and mainly support the channel and you can vote on games and all sorts of stuff, patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips. Any help there will be massively appreciated. Thank you, everyone uh, that supports us on there and anywhere that you do. And thanks for tuning in and all that stuff. It's all great and very much appreciated. Now, though, we had better go and sort some tea out. Thanks a lot, everyone, and we'll see you very, very soon. Have a good weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.